Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be remaking the entire box series. Beginner friendly, I'm going to explain everything. New method of making videos. So first of all, let's go through what we will do today. Basically, I'll explain what do you need to make a disco bot, how to set it up, and the code basically, like how to make the bot itself using JavaScript. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright, so before we start, some people ask me, will there be another dashboard series? Yes, I'm gonna make a new dashboard series. I hope it will be more clear than the last one because the last one was a bit complicated. So yeah. Let's just explain now. First of all, you'll need something called Node.js. Okay, it's like a engine or like something that's gonna run the entire thing. Basically, you cannot make it without it. Okay, so um, yeah, you're gonna install it. Uh, I'll leave the link for it in the description. All right. So after you install it, we'll go here into discord.com/developers/applications. I'll also leave the link for it in the description. We're gonna create a new application, it's gonna be basically your bot. So let's call it um, Discord's tutorial. Okay, something just easy. Let's create it. Boom. Alright, change whatever you want here, everything. It doesn't matter for me right now. But for now, I'm gonna go to that bot tab. I'm gonna add bot. Yes, do it. Uh, okay, so it can't have Discord. So let's say YouTube tutorial. There. Add. Yes, I'll do it. There we go. We got our um, bot here. You're gonna need to enable all the uh, all three of these options, okay? Presence intents, server members intents, and message contact intents. There we go. And if you wonder why my voice is a bit uh, weird or not the same, it's because I'm sick. So let me just grab a tissue over here. Oh, and by the way, in this video, I'll show you how to host your bot twenty four seven because it's today's sponsor. Um, okay, anyways, let's now go to O2 URL generator and let's invite the bot using um, where it is bot and uh, application commands. Okay, these two without application commands, the slash commands will not work. All right, let me just invite it with administrator since it's my, uh, my server. Copy. And let's paste it here and verify box gang. Really old video, sorry, very old server. Oh yeah, the Daisy. Well, it's it's there now. YouTube. Okay, but now it's offline. There is no commands. There is no slash command. There is nothing basically. So um. Let's use a module or a package called Discord.js. So what is Discord.js? It's basically a library. Um, oh, let me actually explain what is a module or a package. Basically, think of it as a bridge. Someone makes a code um, to make our, our life easier. So they make a package. We do npm install the package name. And we get, like, instead of writing a bunch of codes, like... A big stack of codes we just write one line as a function because some function they made for us something like that it's, it's not always like that but that's just a simple explanation of what is a module okay so um, yeah we will need that but we can just do npm install discord.js directly so let me explain now what is the next step so you will open your terminal okay or your command prompt and you will need to have 
two, or uh, actually one folder only. The other one I'll do, I'll explain it later. It's the dashboard. We'll not do anything related to the dashboard today. We'll just make the bot. So um, let's just go here. Okay, the, and I totally didn't forget where did I have that folder. Anyways, um, now that we are inside it, okay, as you see here, this code, uh, bot YT. Um, let's actually just, oh, um, something, if you don't know how to do this on your, on your Windows, it's much easier, actually. Um, all you have to do is just open your My Computer, go to the folder, and in the folder pot, you will see, like, up user slash and whatever, just replace that with uh cmd so yeah um anyways uh, in macbook it's also easy just to drag it into the cmd i guess that works also in windows but you got what i mean now we will need to do something called npm init okay dash y like that okay enter now if i open this you will see a, pa a package of json got created right now okay now let me do the npm install discord.js you'll see more stuff that are created here all right there as you can see the node module and packaged log json and whatever okay so now let's create a um a index.js okay if i remember correctly that's how to create a file yes there we go we got it so uh, we will need another place to save our um, important thing you can say. So we can use a config.json or an env, which is more safe. But I usually prefer config.json and don't ask me why, but I do prefer that for no reason. But if you want to do env, you can do that as well. Anyways, I'm going to just create config.json. There we go. Now, we don't need this anymore, we can close it. Let's open our folder using Visual Studio Code, which is the IDE, or basically the code editor we will be using the entire series. I'll leave the link for, uh, for it in the description if you want to install it. All right, here we have an empty file. Here we have an empty file. What do we do? First of all, we're gonna go here to const discord equal require discord.js. So what does this mean? It means basically we're make we're defining what does discord.js means, okay? So we can use this multiple times instead of writing require discord.js whatever, okay? And now we need to create a new client, okay? New discord.client like that so we'll need to put some parameters in this okay um so let me just yeah that's easier right so uh what does this must mean uh, let me tell you so um we're adding intense something that discord added lately you have to uh add intense in your client to be able to use multiple features and that's stated in the Discord.js documentation, which I'll leave uh, the link for it in the description. Let's go here, intense. Yep, here I found it, flags, gateway, intense bit. Okay, we have all of these as um, intense, okay? So let's use direct message. Uh, message content actually we don't need this because we don't need to send people messages but let's just keep it for the future videos okay there is others if you want to use them because you need more whatever you want okay um, so I just added these only here allow meshes the bot will only be allowed to mention users and roles so they can't mention like more stuff you can also make it just users but I'm going to keep it like that. Okay. So we have something called events. So when something happens, these events get triggered. Okay. Let me open here. Um, like events. Called like that. I hope so. Yeah, it's called events. 
All of these are events, okay, but we're searching for an event called ready. So here it is basically, uh, I'm gonna put it here, look, client.onready, there we go. Console clock ready, okay, what is this? Let me tell you. Now, when the bot is ready, when it's online, it will console log, it will show in our terminal, which is over here. Okay, it will show ready. Okay, let's make it look a bit like cooler. Okay, let's say, yeah, exactly. Logged in as whatever this is. Okay, client.user tag is basically your bot, like, uh, bot, one, two, three, four, whatever. Okay, so, um, yeah, now if I run it, nothing will happen because I need to put a token to basically make it login. So client.login and here we'll put the token which you can obtain from here. Reset token, yes. Um, so here is your token basically, or my token to be exact, which you'll put here, okay? But now it's like visible for everyone, we need to hide it. Okay, uh, let me just show you how this works first. You type node index.js. Okay, don't worry about this. And there, uh, logged in uh, as YouTube's story or whatever, and here the bot should be online. There we go. But now we need to hide this so no one sees it. Okay, it's kind of private, you know. So we'll go here, config.json, do we'll type token, two points, and put the token here. Okay, don't share this with anyone, it's like your email and password and everything. Someone can just use your bot using this and cause bad things, okay, to other servers. Here we'll add const token, like that, equal require config.json. Okay, let me just do like that. So basically here we're going to the config.json and getting the token from it, okay? We'll put it right over here. So now it's not visible, it's only here. So no one can basically see it unless you open that folder. And you don't want to open that folder for someone, basically. So another way to start your bot is a node dot. Just dot instead of this uh, index.js, just type dot. There, logged in as YouTube tutorial still works, everything's fine. So, it's really that easy to create a bot, actually, it's that simple. But further on, with more commands, it will be more difficult. But for now, that's how you start making a Discord bot. Post it 24 7. Um, I'll show you right now, but not dot. Now the bot is online. If you close your terminal, close your application here, it will go offline. So how to make it 24-7? That's today's sponsored job. So Cold Shard is a hosting service that you can use. Um, they got their own Discord server here. I will leave the link for it in the description. And their website is here, coldchart.com. Also I'll leave it in the description. So uh, you will go to callchild.com slash billing and you will see this panel and I bet you saw this before. Anyways, browse products and for starting from one dollar a month to five and six, okay? So let's just get a this one, okay? Five dollars, um, there we go. How much do I have? I think I have five, I should. Uh, I don't I'm not even logged in okay let me just log in real quick okay so here I am I just logged oh why anyways uh, I logged in probably there is a bug um, here you will see runtime you know you'll choose node.js um, price you can just buy the one dollar one if you want to click here continue if you have a promo code here, you will be using Ultrax. While using, while recording this video, the promo code is not yet uh, created, um, so I don't think anything will happen, as you can see. So um, after creating this video, you will see the promo code. You will be able to use it. Here, what we will do is go and check out.
I'm gonna just tell you what will happen. Basically, you will see your server here. You click on manage server. Okay, you'll see something like this. Okay, file manager. And you're gonna just upload your files here. And you're not gonna upload the node modules, okay? You're gonna upload everything, everything. Just don't upload the node modules, okay? Upload it here and go to console and hit the start button. Everything should be fine after. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.